great. Aloha. I'm Roger Christie, the founder of the THC Ministry, the Hawaii Cannabis Ministry. And I'm pleased to release to you, the viewer, the information about cannabis being in the holy anointing oil of Moses and the christening oil of Jesus. And how I prove that is with Hebrew dictionaries. This one is called the Living Torah. So it's from Hebrew to English. And it's from back to front and from right to left, like Hebrew goes. I did a talk radio show on Maui a few years ago, and I mentioned about the Holy Anointing Oil and how the scholarship had started to come out by Chris Bennett out of Canada. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate your good work. And a woman called me after the radio show, and she said she had a book that she knew would be quite useful to the cause. And she'd like to give it to me and, and donate it to the ministry. So I was grateful to accept it. And it's this book, The Living Torah, by this famous rabbi, Aria Kaplan. And where it talks about the anointing oil in Exodus 30, 23. If you want to get a close-up of this, and you can, people can actually see right along here. The anointing oil. God spoke to Moses, saying, You must take the finest fragrances. There you go. 500 shekels worth of distilled myrrh. Now, 500 shekels, a shekel is about 10 grams. So that's a very specific amount of, of measurement and a specific ingredient, distilled myrrh. 250 shekels worth of fragrant cinnamon. Again, a distinct ingredient amount and ingredient. And then 250 shekels of fragrant cane. That's a vague term. What's fragrant cane? Sugar cane, candy cane. So we go to the fine print here and look up fragrant cane. And in Hebrew, it's called cana bosom. And as it shows you over here, the hemp plant. On the basis of cognate pronunciation and Septuagint readings, some identify cana bosom with English and Greek cannabis, the hemp plant. Wow. So being a cannabis guy, I'm absolutely thrilled to find this Hebrew dictionary from a famous rabbi that says cannabosum is cannabis. And I have two other Hebrew dictionaries that say the same thing. One says it's marijuana and the other says that cannabosum is hemp. So a few years ago I started making the holy anointing oil and experimenting with the recipe. And because it takes 6.3 pounds, roughly 6.3 pounds of cannabis buds, to make the full recipe, that 250 shekels is about, as I say, about three kilos of buds. Uh, that's about $20,000 worth of, in, in prohibition prices of, of cannabis. So what I've done is break down the recipe so I, I can make a small amount at a time. And I do every month. I make it on the new moon and the full moon. Three years ago, by the way, we did make the full recipe in Northern California. A friend of mine donated $20,000 worth of buds to put in the recipe. And uh, we made a huge amount of it and blessed a lot of people with it. It was at a great event of, of cannabis ministers from the West Coast and from Hawaii who showed up there. One cup of olive oil. Start with one cup of olive oil. And you want to add 30 drops of, of liquefied myrrh, essential oil. 15 drops of cinnamon essential oil, 30 drops of cassia, which is a, a cinnamon leaf essential oil, and one quarter ounce of cannabis buds, ground up and, and heated into the hot olive oil. And so what it does, it infuses the olive oil with the cannabis buds, and then we strain it out with a fine strainer and pull the pulp or the particulate matter, out of the olive oil. So we have cannabis-infused olive oil, to which we add the 30 drops of myrrh, 15 of cinnamon, and 30 of cassia. And then we bless it. We bless it. That's part of it. If you've seen the, the book and the work of Dr. Emoto, Messages from Water, you know about that? Mm -hmm. So we know now that you can photograph thoughts and prayers. So that's why people pray before they, we eat and, and pray in certain circumstances because it changes the molecular structure of the you know to the desired effect so we do the blessing on the holy oil and that's an important component of the recipe and then we uh, decant it into eyedropper sized bottles 
got one in my pocket because I use it all the time. And this is a bottle of holy anointing oil that we made on 420, which was the full moon last month. <laughs> the word Christ means anointed, and I'm convinced that it means anointed with cannabis holy oil. And that really changes a lot. There's also a great quote in the Bible that says, the yoke of our bondage will be broken by the anointing. And I find that to be true. And I was not a, a Christian guy, I'm a cannabis guy for, for decades. But I've come to the Bible over the last few years because of the holy oil, and because of hearing that Jesus used cannabis. And now I find that to be true. There's no evidence that I know of that he smoked it, but there is evidence that he anointed with it because that's his name, that's his title. It's, Jesus Christ translates literally to I am anointed. Jesus in Latin or French to this very day is J Sui or I am, and Christ means anointed. So Jesus Christ put together means I am anointed. Well, what are you anointed with? Cannabis holy oil. Take a look online. You'll see at the thc-ministry.org website for the Hawaii Cannabis Ministry. We've got the scholarship uh, very well uh, demonstrated there for all the world to see. And that's why we win so many cases. We won, I believe, we're up to 84 cases now. We've only lost two. And uh, by cases, I mean incidents of under arrest conditions where we've had people give their sincere testimony to arresting officers and show their ID card from the ministry. And handcuffs came off. This is a copy of my business card here. And then on the back is our blessing, which works so very well that I printed it on our identification cards. And it says, God, that's great. Please show me the blessings in this situation and hurry. We are safe, we are loved, and all is well. And that positive affirmation is like spiritual alchemy. It turns bummers around. It turns troubles and challenges into blessings. If you'll focus on that, what I'm quite convinced of what will happen for you is what happens for me. It works 100% of the time. 100% of the time. It's a very beautiful thing. So I'm stoked to be able to sit here in this beautiful office in Hilo, Hawaii, right on the ocean front with beautiful cannabis plants right in the room where we provide the services and the sacraments of our ministry here to members only, sincere members over 21 years old. And people can join the ministry from anywhere in the world. You can do it online or by mail. And we're happy to provide the services and, as I say, the sacraments, including holy anointing oil and tinctures that we make from cannabis. And we dispense by the drop. Now, this is our main document, the sanctuary sign, and this was invented by me after going to the place of refuge in South Kona where Native Hawaiians have been going for sanctuary for hundreds of years to cleanse their sins and to, be, uh, to atone for their wrongdoings so that they could live in harmony again at some point in time back in their community. It helps to communicate the intention of religious freedom for cannabis in, in, the, in our members' homes. And it works very well. We've had, as I say, about 85 successes with this uh, formula, this method. <clears throat> Under arrest conditions, we've only had two, of, two times it has failed. And we've lost cases. So it's a beautiful thing. I mean, it actually helps me understand the First Amendment better and to respect our government and the Bill of Rights uh, at, a, at a higher level than I, I did before. So since law enforcement's treating me <clears throat> and this ministry with such great respect, it's my pleasure to treat them with respect and to enjoy my life as a, a citizen of the USA.